A man stands outside in casual attire. The person is wearing a light blue shirt and shorts, possibly delivering the package. It looks like there's a package left outside on the porch in the footage. Just a heads up, someone is picking it up but not bringing it inside. The kids are visible in the backyard, playing near a trampoline and a slide. The individual in the frames is Daniel. Looks like the garden is hosting a toy party. Time to rescue those toys from their outdoor adventure. A person in a white hoodie is seen walking in the garden at night. LLM Vision can analyze images and videos from my cameras, work out what's happening, and then update my home assistant with that information. I can get notifications, voice announcements, or even trigger automations. So today I'm going to show you some examples of how can it be applied from identifying people to protecting packages, keeping an eye on the kit, and even solving a little mystery. One of the coolest things this setup can do, it can look at a person and instantly describe them. And here is the thing, the quality of the information you get depends on the prompt you provide. A man is extending his arm towards the camera, wearing a blue shirt, with short hair and a serious expression, standing in front of a white car. The person in the image is wearing a light blue sweater and gray shorts. He has short hair and is holding a drink in his right hand. He appears to be standing outside near a white car, smiling or looking content. Another powerful feature inside the LLM Vision is memory. It can upload images with descriptions and the system will try to recognize those people later during the analysis. The individual in the frames is Daniel. He is wearing a light blue shirt and appears to be standing near a white car in a driveway. His posture is relaxed, suggesting he may be a visitor or someone waiting for someone else. Now my camera it's only 1080p, so it gets a bit blurry from a distance. So the results were mixed at first. I had to upload a few different pictures of myself with different lightning, different zoom to improve the recognition. With a sharper 4K fat camera, this would probably work even better. But even with my setup, it's already quite useful for knowing when it's me or one of my family members and even what we're carrying. And because it's all in Home Assistant, I can connect that into automations. And just as I was finishing my coffee, the camera spotted our first visitor of the day. If we create the automation of a camera, we can analyze the video stream directly as soon as the motion is detected, and the integration will just tell me who it might be or why they have arrived. I don't know who the person is in the image. However, I can describe their appearance. They are wearing a light blue long sleeve shirt and shorts, and they are carrying a box. Their posture suggests they are likely delivering a package. If only ghosts delivered packages, right? That extra details makes a huge difference. Instead of just a vague alert, I instantly know who is at the door. It creates a simple doorbell press into a useful information that I can actually act on. But that delivery, the AI wasn't done keeping eye on it. Package theft is a real problem, so I let my AI guard the porch. Hey there, it looks like there's a package left outside on the porch in the footage. Just a heads up, someone is picking it up but not bringing it inside. It might be a good idea to keep an eye on that, just in case. Stay safe. So it doesn't just detect the package, it keeps watching until it's safely inside. It's like having 24-7 security without paying a monthly fee. 
What I'm trying to say here, the integration options are absolutely endless. Later that day, the kids came home and the AI switched to a family mode. Sometimes I just simply want to know, what are the kids doing outside? Can you check on kids? In the first two frames, two children are visible in the backyard. One child is climbing on a structure, while the other is standing nearby. In the next two frames, no children are visible as the camera is focused on parked cars outside. In the first two frames, the kids are visible in the backyard, playing near a trampoline and a slide. They appear to be engaging with the outdoor equipment. In the last two frames, the view is focused on parked cars, and no children are visible there. Pretty useful if I want to check from time to time what they are up to. Quick question, one answer, and I can get back to whatever I was doing. However, the automation also caught something the kids left behind. If you got kids, you know that toys have a way of migrating outside. In the frames, I see a few toys scattered in the front yard. There's a red tricycle, a green scooter, and a little ride-on car. Looks like a mini vehicle convention out there. Better grab those before they start a joyride without you. This has saved me from more than one late night toy rescue mission in the rain. Now I can relax knowing that this evening automation is watching my house outside. And just when I thought the day was over, the AI has uncovered a mystery. A person in a white hoodie is seen walking in the garden at night. They appear to be moving towards the trampoline area. The situation seems suspicious, it may be worth investigating further. In the second frame, the person is closer and holding an object, but it's unclear what it is. The individual seems to be exploring the area. Please check the garden for any potential issues. Okay, so when compared to my ring cameras, I would need to go into the app and check the feed. Here we get the snapshot instantly. Not perfect, but still impressive. Turns out the mystery intruder was me. But hey, it works. In order to install LLM Vision, go to the hacks. Search for LLM Vision. Click download and then restart the Home Assistant instance. Give it a minute for the Home Assistant to restart all the services. Hit refresh. Now go to the settings, device and services, add integration, LLM vision. I'm going to keep everything as default for now, but we'll come back to this later, as here we can adjust the system prompt, which we can adjust the behavior, how the integration behaves and responds. We can also set the retention time for all the events. By default, it will store everything up to seven days. And we can also provide a bit of memory by uploading the images and description so we can recognize people, other objects, etc. Hit submit and finish. Once this is configured, next we're gonna have to add a provider. In the Home Assistant UI, click Add Entry select the provider for me it's going to be OpenAI. hit submit and then you're going to have to generate an api key from your provider in my case it's platformopenai.com go to the settings api keys create a new key here i've already created one in the past so i'm just going to reuse this one go back to the settings paste the api key here and for now, I'm going to leave the model parameters as default. Click Submit. And this is our basic configuration done. So once we have LLM vision, how do we actually set this up? Well, it depends on what cameras you have. The implementation can be a little bit different. Here is how I'm running this in my home. I'm using the Mosquito Broker with a Ring MQTT and a video streaming add-on. Basically, the Ring MQTT connects Ring cameras and other devices into Home Assistant through MQTT Broker. And the video streaming feature lets me expose the camera feed straight into LLM Vision. This setup lets me either record a live stream and send that clip to LLM Vision for analysis. 
or even better, analyze the RTSP stream directly. Since each camera can stream events over RTSP, the AI can then process them in real time without me having to store them manually. So whenever you don't bring or any other cameras entirely, the idea is the same. Connect your camera feed into Home Assistant, let the LLM do the analysis and all the heavy lifting. And that is the backbone of how all this works. But the real magic is when you can build on top of it all the different automations you can create. So this first automation gets triggered when someone presses the doorbell. Then we do in a delay for a one second. And then we take a snapshot on a camera from the doorbell, which is then stored on, under this location. We then using the LLM Vision Image Analyzer with OpenAI Provider, using this prompt, which is basically describing how should this integration respond when describing this image. We can also specify to use memory. So if you're trying to identify people, you can upload images with descriptions under a specific location. So then this integration will try to use that information to identify people. We specify the image location of where the snapshot has been stored. We specify the size of the image and the number of tokens, which is the size of the response that we're going to get back. Finally, we specify the name for the response variable, which is then passed to this notification service and the text from that response will be used. We specify also the title, image entity, if we want to pass the image to the notification. And based on your integration, obviously this will have a different name, but mine matches exactly the snapshot entity here. Finally, I was also announcing this on a voice preview edition because I was testing everything, because I was ensuring that everything working as expected. Finally, I was also announcing this on this voice preview edition as I was testing and making sure that everything works as expected. This next automation is triggered when motion is detected by a camera. The main difference between this one and the previous one is the prompt. I'm trying for the integration to properly describe who they see and try to associate that with a person based on what they might carry or how they look like. And then this is then announced on the voice preview edition. Finally, this automation runs every day at 4 p.m. and is trying to tell me what kind of toys have been left outside so I can go and pick them up. And the main difference between this one and the other, the previous ones were analyzing snapshots. Here we're not trying to store anything because we're passing the camera entity straight away and we're analyzing the data stream. We, can, we could also record a video, point out location and try to analyze that. But if you can analyze the stream, I believe this is much quicker because you don't need to wait for the recording and the processing to happen. And obviously the prompt is a bit different because we're trying to do something else. Finally, I'm also taking a snapshot just to see what kind of toys have been left outside. And I'm sending this as a notification to my mobile phone. Finally, I also announced this on the voice preview edition. Got to say, I'm really excited about what this setup can already do and even more excited about its potential. LLM Vision has shown me just how powerful it is to bring AI into everyday home automations. From recognizing people to describing what they're carrying to keep an eye on packages and toys, it's already making my smart home feel a bit smarter. <laughs> But I know this is just the beginning. My cameras are still only 1080p and they struggle with recognition at distance. Upgrading to 4K cameras could make a huge difference, not just for recognizing people, but for detecting all kinds of objects with much more accuracy. I'm also planning to move my cameras to a local solution so I don't have to rely on the cloud storage or pay for the video footage hosting. The potential of applications here is massive, from security to family safety to everyday convenience. And I'd love to hear how you use this. And if you're already experimenting with LLM Vision or any other integrations, share your setups in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and push this even further.